Hi everyone, how you doing? And welcome back to Wi-Fi Sheep here on YouTube. Now it's Friday the 12th of May 2023 and I got an email earlier today so I'm on the mailing list for the Pie Hut which is one of the official Rusty Pie supply companies that they were going to have stock in at six o'clock this evening. The time I'm recording this now it's 17.36 so 5.36 so coming up to 20 to 6 uh, in the evening and let's just have a quick look here we go at the Pie Hut site so I've got my um this is kind of so sad that we've come to this we'll have to queue up and hope the site doesn't crash I'm going to see if I can pick up something like a Raspberry Pi Zero I'd like an original Zero or a Zero W whatever um just to see you know can I pick something up because I really do need some of these boards for one of the projects I'm working on. Now they're limiting it to one purchase per customer to try and make the stock last. Uh, if we go over to uh, Pi Locator, yeah, you can see that there has been some stock. Now a little earlier today, there was some European stock available. Uh, Pyromi have got, look like they have got Rice Pi 4s in. And that's all it's in at the moment. Pi Hut haven't announced they've got stock as yet, but I guess what we'll do is we'll see if I can actually buy something at six o'clock if the site doesn't crash. And, uh, and then we'll see how long it takes for the stock to, uh, to deplete, which I can imagine probably isn't going to be too long. So yeah this one's going to be interesting but this is just so frustratingly annoying okay so roughly five minutes left to go um let's just go back to the screen so i'm here on a pie hut uh, i've added two things to my cart because i thought while i'm here i might buy uh, another power usb-c power supply and a, another pi 4 to HDMI adapter cable thing so I'll buy that as well so as I said I'm looking for probably either a, a Pi Zero W something like that really um, I've just been over onto the, the Pi Hut Twitter and this is the post that kind of grabbed my attention so uh, you want to, might want to be on our site at 6pm tomorrow Friday well that's now today so yeah we've got four minutes to go is the site about to crash quick check of the stock nope interestingly the pi 4s haven't sold out over on pyromi which is interesting so four minutes to go i was just having a quick look over on aliexpress as well at the banana pie zero which is an alternative now banana pie uh, did do a sponsorship with me and they sent me a, an extended zero product you can actually see that uh, on the main Wi-Fi Sheep channel, but um, yeah, I mean you can get a, a decent pin compatible Pi product with an all winner H3 chipset for what sixteen pounds. So, and then in this case three pound or four pound thirty two, sorry, uh, shipping, which isn't bad. Okay, one minute left. There might be a slight time delay uh, between them clicking the button to say yes we've got stock and it actually appearing on the site but I wonder how many bots and things are just going to buy up as much as they can but they do say they're limiting it to one person per customer but yeah It's just ridiculous having to queue up like this to try and grab what little stock there is. Yet yeah, all the competitors and all the kind of clone makers and stuff have plenty of stock. You've just seen it over on AliExpress. It's there, no problem. So I don't. I I'm not accepting so much now the whole chip shortage story because no one else is having these problems. There we go. It's gone six o'clock. Uh, Nope. Let's refresh again. Nope. 
Seriously, have you just got pi have you just got one model of pipe? Seriously? Oh come on, seriously. One model of Pi 4 is what you would that's all you've got. It's sixty two pounds fifty. I mean to be fair, they did just show Pi 4s in in the tweet, but Let's just go back to the front page and <laughs> I've got right Pico microcontrollers because they never ran out of stock and that's all what we're meant to be using now a couple of modules and things and power supplies that no one cares about <sighs> okay we're three minutes in and um, no yeah, so I this is just getting ridiculous now. This is just you cannot be serious with this anymore. Um I also think it's now at a point. So where where are we? We're at um we're in May now. So we're five months into the year and practically no Raspberry Pi stocks appearing and when you, you do see it it's in such limited quantities it's you know pointless. I did see a tweet from um Raspberry Pi themselves saying they're going to set up a pop-up shop in Birmingham. Uh, that's that's the nearest biggest city to me here, really. Um, but I'd, it's still an hour away to get there. It's not, you know, a little bit more than that, actually. Um, again, to sell limited stock of something or other. Uh, I just think now, uh, especially with the sort of projects I'm trying to design, uh, mainly a new build of the um, Tiny Basic Computers project, uh, which was originally going to use Raspberry Pi for the terminal, and I'd been using uh, Raspberry Pi uh, ones or you know eBay stock um, of a used Pi stock of the stuff no one at the time wanted, but now people are going to want the Pi ones again because you know you just can't get hold of anything, and I just I think it's now getting to the point of having to look at serious alternatives with Chinese microcontrollers or if I can get stuff to work on the clone boards look at um you know non Raspberry Pi alternatives for doing project work because this is just you know th this is ridiculous it, it is so frustrating and ridiculous sorry I'm just still looking as I'm talking to you I'm just looking to see I won't even bother with my order then that is absolutely ridiculous I am getting so fed up with Pi Foundation, what they're doing, or not? Well, it's not even a Pi Foundation anymore. It's this commercial holdings company thingy, whatever they call themselves now. Uh, it's just a joke. It's a joke, you know. Um, yeah, so I think I'm going to have to seriously look at alternatives. And I think that's probably where this channel we'd already were going there with looking at other boards and things. But I think for this is now impacting my project work and what I'm able to do. Yes, I do have Pi stock I could use, but it's the fact is if you're trying to design a product for somebody else to build or use, well, they need to get hold of Pi stock as well. And if they can't, it's no good if I've got it, if no one else has it. So I think we're going to have to look at more easily, readily available alternatives. All right, so this is, oh God, a few days later. Um, what's the date today? 23rd today. And look, recipe Pi, W in, so add to cart. Thank you, view cart. Uh, limited one customer, don't care, fine. Including that, it's probably gonna be about 20 quid by the time we've uh, paid the post to check out. Okay, I haven't obviously, oh, there we go. That's a ping for notification. So obviously I haven't gone through the um, payment method because that's all personal details, which I'm not gonna share online, but I've managed to order a Recipe Zero W. And it cost about £17.99 in the end. So, yeah, okay, there we are. I got hold of one. Am I a bit happier? Yes. Would I like to have bought more than one? Yes, possibly. But I would actually like just to stock one about the, the Wi-Fi. But, oh, well, there we go. I bought something. <laughs> you have a need for reliable and cost-effective web hosting for your blog, business, or personal website? 
If so, then look no further than Cheap Host UK. Cheap Host UK's basic plan starts from only 58 pence per month. That's 6.99 a year. And if you're needing a little bit more, Cheap Host UK's premium packages start from 1 pound 41 pence per month or 16.99 a year, complete with a free .co.uk domain. New customers can also take advantage of an extra 10% discount when purchasing any first-time hosting package or domain name from Cheap Host UK. Use discount code SHEEP, that's S-H-E-E-P, to get an extra 10% off. For reliable, cost-effective web hosting and domains, look no further than Cheap Host UK. Full details and an affiliate link are in the description to this video. So, surprise, surprise, uh, we need a new ending for this video. I already shot an ending that I partly used, that you've already seen, where I was getting very disgruntled and ranting about the situation with Pi again. Um, but then, obviously, Pi Zero stock came available. I ordered some, you've just seen it, and it arrived. I think it was literally yesterday. I've been a bit busy, so here it is. Uh, this is what I ordered 24 hours from the point of ordering. So let's There we go. 17 pounds worth of uh, Raspberry Pi Zero W. Um, yeah, of course that was on the Pi Hub, but they were limiting to one per customer. However, I just want to show you this very quickly. So this is Pi Moroni, and they've also got the Raspberry Pi Zero Ws at 15 pounds in stock. But check this out here, this PC I want to share with you. Limited to 10 per customer, as opposed to one. That is the first time ever since the Raspberry Pi Zero originally came out. It's always been limited to one per customer. 10 per customer, and they've still got stock. Which is, yeah, that's quite something. So does this mean we're coming to the end of the shortage? Well, in some capacities, yes. But I do somewhat wonder if, for example, the um, Raspberry Zero is only here um, in quantity because it's using a you know 2012 chipset. It's the uh, Broadcom BM BCM two eight three five uh, clock to one gigahertz. That's the original Raspberry Pi chip. Uh, so it's a thirty two bit single core ARM CPU, and of course that struggles to run Linux well and it's obviously limited to what the original Pi could do. Now for some applications, like the things I want to use it for, such as tiny basic computers as a GPU terminal, that's fine. In fact, having a Wi-Fi, I guess it's not necessary, but I guess the Wi-Fi is an added bonus. Um, but for a lot of people, they're going to want the faster, newer, greater, bigger Raspberry Pi boards, and of course the original Zero just ain't going to cut it. Saying that, and as I've said already in the video, if you do want faster, more capable zero form factor boards, then you can look at the alternative clone manufacturers. We've already looked at Banana Pi, for example. Um, but I guess this is a good starting point. So at least it means that for now, I can start designing things knowing that I can, with confidence, get hold of Rusty Pi zero boards. And even if I don't supply them in the things I want to build in the future, at least I know that the people buying or sampling products potentially from me can actually get hold of components once more. So uh, it's been an adventure, this. It's been an ordeal. Been through all sorts of emotions, but um, yeah, we got there in the end. So fingers crossed that things improve throughout 2023 and we get back to normal stock levels of availability for 2024 and beyond and who knows we might actually get raspberry pi computing and stem and all that back on you know the mainstream agenda again rather than sort of what's been happening in the post covid era anyway that's it for this video so thanks so much for watching if you haven't done so already please do consider liking and subscribing to me here on wi-fi sheep channel 2 also, this video is available on our Rumble channel. All videos from Wi-Fi Sheep and Wi-Fi Sheep 2 from YouTube will be re-uploaded automatically to the Rumble platform. So you have two places you can find videos from Wi-Fi Sheep. 
As always, thanks so much for your company, and I will see you somewhere on YouTube or Rumble real soon.